So you have an iPhone 10 and above, iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, 10R, even the iPhone 11s, and you have an issue where you're getting reboots randomly, okay? I'm not talking about where it's stuck in a boot loop, where it's constantly boot, boot looping, but basically what it's doing is it's maybe rebooting once every hour, maybe five times an hour or several times a day, okay? So you're still able to get into the phone. Now, if you're stuck on a constant boot loop where you can't even get into the phone, then look at the link below for another video, okay? But this one here, again, I can log in. So first thing is this. First thing you wanna to try to do is do a software update. So just simply just go into your settings here. And then from here, you wanna go ahead and just scroll down, go down to general. And then from general, we're gonna scroll down. And then or right on top right here, it says software update. Tap on that. Now let's see if there's a software update, okay? See if there's a software update there is. Go ahead and download and install it. Sometimes that's the issue. Sometimes when you do like an update, you start getting these random uh, reboots. Maybe it'll you know happen like twice an hour or twice every few hours or whatnot. Anyways, if you have an update, go ahead and update it, okay? Now after the update, it all of a sudden it just like restarts again, okay? So the next thing that we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and force it to restart, okay? Very simple, we're just basically doing it, we're forcing it to restart, very simple. How you do it? Three button combination, volume up, volume down, press and hold this power button, do not let go until the Apple logo appears. So let's do it together. Volume up, volume down, press and hold that power button, do not let go until we see an Apple logo. I'm still holding onto the power button here, waiting for that Apple logo to appear. Still holding, still holding, still holding, Apple logo, let go. Now you should be up and running, okay? Now, if you happen to have a restart, then we're gonna to have to go to the next step. Now the next step here is very, very simple. So for this next step, what I want you to do is go ahead and take out your SIM card, just like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little blow, like this on my SIM card. Wave it down with my finger like that. And let me just blow into the port really fast. And now I'm gonna go ahead and slide my SIM card back in here. Now everything's back up and running. Now go ahead throughout your day and hopefully it doesn't restart. If it does, we're gonna to go to the next solution. All right, for the next possible solution, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna reset all settings. So simply go back into your settings here and then you wanna go down to general and then scroll all the way down and you'll see second to the bottom, it says reset. Tap on reset. Now you wanna go ahead and look at the top one, okay? It says reset all settings. So if I go ahead and tap on that, you have to go ahead and enter your password. And you can see right down here, you can read that. It says, this will reset all settings and your Apple Pay cards will be removed. No data or media will be deleted. So basically you're resetting all settings so you will have to go back and put your Wi-Fi password in and gonna have to like reconnect your Bluetooth and whatnot. But anyway, it's just resetting all of your settings, okay? You're not gonna lose your like uh, photos, videos, documents and stuff like that. So to proceed, go ahead and click on reset all settings and it'll reboot the phone. And then see if you have that restart problem. Hopefully you're good to go. Now, if you still have the restart problem, the last solution I have for you is actually on this um, same uh, page here. And it's a erase all content and settings. And this is actually a factory reset. So I would advise if you, if you were gonna proceed this way, make sure if you have anything important, back it up, okay? Save your photos and videos on a computer or just back everything up to iTunes and then go ahead and proceed with the uh, erase all content. But remember, this is a factory reset. If I proceed it with this right here and I clicked on erase now, I'll lose everything on the phone, my photos, videos. It'll be as if I bought the phone brand new, took it out of the box and have to start from the very beginning with the setting, pick your language, your region, so on and so on. Anyway, let me know uh, which method worked for you guys, okay? Good luck, guys.